Building out the content types of your site is one of the first things you'll do when creating any new Drupal-powered website. In this video, we'll be creating a site that acts as a job board, allowing administrators to post new jobs and users of the site to apply for those jobs. Throughout the course of this video, we'll be talking about the process of creating the necessary content types, fields, and all of the associated steps necessary to do so. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to create. This is our example job board site. I'm logged into the site as a regular user. You can see that there's a couple of job postings on the site that explain the job that is available. I can click on a job posting to view more information about that job, things like the salary, the type of job, whether or not telecommuting is allowed, and the department. I can also scroll down and click on a link to get more information from a contact in case I have questions about the job. After clicking through to view a contact's profile, we can see that their phone number is listed here, and if I have any questions about this particular job, I'd know who to contact. If I go back to the job posting page, there's also a link in the lower right that allows me to apply for this job. Clicking on the link displays a form that I can fill out with my job application. I'll go ahead and do that. It shows me the job that I'm applying for, the super trooper job. I can upload a resume. I can also upload a headshot of myself. And I can fill out a bio of myself. Boop. I can scroll down to the bottom of the page and hit save. After clicking save on my job application, I'm redirected back to the job posting page and a nice little message is displayed that alerts me that I just submitted a job application. As the administrator of the site, I need to be able to create new job postings. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Once logged in as an administrator, I can click Create Add Content, Job Posting, and I'm presented with a form for creating a new job posting with a bunch of fields that allow me to describe the job in great detail. I can add a new job title, pick a department for it, add a salary for the job, determine a job type, mark whether or not telecommuting is allowed for this job. I can pick a contact person for the job via an autocomplete widget, enter in a brief job description, and then click Save to save my new job. I can also, as the administrator, view applications that have been submitted by users of the site by going to content and clicking on the application and viewing the information submitted by, in this case, Joe Schindelar. I can see his bio, the job that he's applied for, a link to his resume, and the headshot that he uploaded to go along with his application. Throughout the course of this video, we'll be going through the steps necessary in order to create the job posting and job application content types that we just saw. We'll also talk about how we can add additional fields to these content types, like salary or the ability for someone to upload a headshot, to make sure that when someone's filling out these forms, they're entering in the valid information and answering specific questions that we've asked them to make sure that we're getting the information we need. We'll also get an in-depth look at the power and flexibility provided by the new field API in Drupal 7 core and the functionality that it provides for new site builders.